Tuesday, 15th August 2023, Jerome Hoskan Mugawa winded up his two days countryside tour of the South region. <laughs> In the evening of Tuesday, General Hoskan Rugawa made his way to Sauti Sports Club playground where hundreds had waited for long. <laughs> Present were ministers Peter Ogwang, Helen Adoa, Musa Echeru, Ongaro Obote and Okasai Opoloto. Who is also the commander-in-chief of the great MK movement and who is also the president-in-waiting of our great and wonderful country, Uganda. John sent his two disciples to Jesus to find out, should we wait for another one or you are the one to come? Today you have come here, people are going to ask you, is MK the one to come or we wait for another one? I've seen MK when he was in active service. He's a committed person, he's a focused first person, and he delivers the task. So it is upon us, as we support the NRM, to see the continuity of NRM. His Royal Highness Rafael Otaya, the culture leader of when a tech camp Kumam, was among the Baraza audience. The Baraza seemed more of a long awaited opportunity to test the region. General, when you go back and you are having a discussion with His Excellency the President, we implore upon you to raise it with His Excellency the President that we are happy that government committed itself to compensate the people of Teso, but we request that this is done in a timely manner but exhaustively. In the senior presidential advisor, General Hoskan Rugawa, according to Teso, there is light at the end of the tunnel. A big challenge in the sense that the daughters and the sons of Teso that fought alongside him to defeat the LRA in Teso still look at him and ask, when will our effort, when will our humble contribution be recognized? I trust you as a man that fought here against the LRA. Let me take the opportunity on your behalf to invite you to come and address the people of Teso. Jenum Hoskan Rukaba's address started by recalling his last moments in Teso sub-region. I'm personally, personally glad to be back in Teso after some time. As some of you may know, I was here in 2003 when the NRA invaded the region. Mohoz noted that amid his security threats by then from one rebel, Tablé, success was achieved at last. And as we were returning at night to Soroti, <laughs> he laid an ambush for us. <laughs> we were able to disperse that ambush and the terrorist. Mohose therefore emphasizes that the current times are worth celebrating since all corners of the country are now peaceful. Today, we are, here, we are here to thank God for the peace that all of Uganda is enjoying. The days of insurgency, of rebellions, of, of uh, IDP camps, of massacres are behind us. Regarding the concerns raised by members of parliament and local leaders, Muhoz reiterated that pacifying Karmoja will be the only way to offer full support and peace to Teso sub region. The removal of the Turkana herdsmen from Uganda, they have been, they were, you remember, we were allowing Turkana to come and graze their cows in Karamoja, but now they have been uh, uh, sent back. The raids are reducing because of the pressure that the UPDF is putting on them. He says there is now good news to celebrate about the process. Since we launched Operation Usalama Kwawote in July of 2021, a total of 1,104 guns have been recovered. General Hoskan Rugaba lifted the podium by recommending the region for heading to the call of embracing agriculture. Uh, whereas farmers were getting only 40,000 shillings per acre, from cotton, they can get up to 12 million shillings per acre from oranges. So we thank you for taking up orange. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, 
regarding the full functionalization of Soroti Fruit Factory, Genom has revealed that government is in advanced stages of restructuring the facility in order to serve its intended purpose. Muhozi's attention will be now focusing on other areas where he will go ahead to preach the gospel of peace, unity and development. Robert Nyango, UBC News.